Hi there, Chris, what are we doing today? We're gonna what sand and buff this cobra. That's it. <laughs> nothing, <laughs> nothing crazy today, no prep preparation, no. taping, none of that. Today we're gonna be wet sand and buffing, or however you wanna phrase it. Yeah, pink And correction. do it in, yeah, whatever you wanna say. But point of the matter is, this is the liquid blue that was painted the other day, and it is, like we said before, one of the rarest Ford colors in the world. It is a pretty tough paint to lay on and do everything else, yeah. but you use extremely nice but thick clear coat. Yes. So there's tons and tons of orange peel at first, which usually is bad, but this yeah. time it's good because yeah. you're gonna be shaving that orange peel down. So Chris is gonna show us the way on a liquid blue Terminator Cobra. It doesn't get better than that, <laughs> so let's do it. Chris, what is the first step? First step is to make sure your surface is clean and ready. Um, I'm gonna tape up uh, a lot of the edges, uh, some of the trim, stuff that the buffer could hit, um, you know, and, and damage it, stuff like that. So once I get that taped out, uh, then we'll come back and, and start uh, assessing the surface, see where we're at, what little tiny dirt nibs need taken out, um, and then go ahead and start removing uh, some of the orange peel. You know, actually, it's, it's all the orange peel that we can, um, and then you'll watch this thing look like a sheet of glass when it's done. So from the last time that we painted it, or when we painted it a few weeks ago, uh, it was super glossy in the booth, super smooth, but like we explained in that video, this over time likes to shrink. So as the solvents come out of the clear, that clear shrinks and shrinks and shrinks, but it left us with a, a pretty orange peely surface, but it's designed to be wet sanded, uh, smooth, and then buffed to a, uh, to a mirror shine. Hey, can you show them the gas cap? Yeah, yeah, so many people talk about how the gas cap wasn't painted. It was painted. <laughs> Everything was painted. I don't know why they're talking about the gas door inside the gas door. Wasn't it? We painted it with the door jams and everything. It was all painted. Well, whatever. Chris is a master of proving people wrong. That's what he, he gets off on that, dude. I love that. Well, you, you get a lot of people that, that like to be armchair warriors. And just like this, I'm going to do this a certain way. There are other ways out there to do this. Some ways are better, some ways are worse. This is the way with me wet sanding and buffing that I found works good for me. Some people will find a better way that actually works better for them. Great, awesome, do it that way. I would say that a common misconception when it comes to even polishing your car, mm -hmm. even with wax, is that a buffer can damage your car. A buffer can, if you're not careful with it. So it also depends on the type of buffer you're using. We're gonna use two types. There's a rotary and an orbital. Uh, rotary buffers can destroy paint. Orbitals can destroy paint. Uh, rotary buffers tend to destroy paint faster because they generate a lot more heat. They move a lot faster, uh, which they end up burning through corners, burning through edges. The orbital's a little bit more forgiving, but they each have their place, as we'll explain through we go through this, uh, you know, show you the, the ways of both buffers. So that is also why Chris is taping, because yes. when you do yes. edges sometimes, you literally just shred it off. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance of burning through, burning through an edge or anything no. like that. So I'm using a, a tool called a Festool denibber, and it basically is a really finely precise ground piece of metal leaves a 2,500 grit scratch, but we're basically uh, shaving the, the top of that little dirt nib down. We just basically run it over the surface and then it's gone. So we'll do this, that way we can block this whole top and not have to worry about, uh, about dirt nibs and stuff. So. Chris, the hand model. Huh? <laughs> My hands are so screwed it's up. It's like in working. Zoolander. Have you seen Zoolander? Yeah, 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 yeah. The world's greatest hand model. And he has it like in a freaking glass contraption to keep it young keep or whatever. Perfect, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no way I would ever pass for a hand model. My hands get too screwed up sanding all day. Wait, I know that hand. I know that hand. <laughs> okay, let's start denibbing some of these little spots. I like to go over them to make sure that all my spots that I didn't like, maybe a small imperfection um, in the surface is all completely taken care of before I uh, go through and flatten the surface completely. 
you can kind of hear already the little bits of overspray and stuff from sitting at the shop for another week. Try not to stay in one direction too long. Try and uh, alternate directions on it so that, that way it doesn't leave too deep of a scratch. All right, so now we just ran over it with the DA with 1500, just to kind of even out a lot of that uh, uneven surface. It also allows us to find any imperfections that were left over that we can hit with some 1500 grit before we uh, put 2000 grit on here and, and polish this out. So it's like we still got a little bit of orange peel. We can just kind of knock that down. And again, like I said, everybody's got their own way to do it. Some people like to wet sand first. I like to do some dry sanding because I like to be able to see the surface uh, and not go too far. If you wet sand it, you, you can't see how much you've taken off. I like to go just until the orange peel is removed and leave a lot of that clear one to just provide more sun protection, you know, up for the paint job. Um, but also there's, once it's flat, it's flat. No turning back. No turning back. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. But you'll be able to see how smooth this is once I get done sanding this whole thing. You'll see that there's no orange peel left in it. Live view. Me and Chris are taking a break watching the SpaceX launch. Yeah, hell yeah. I was just at Cape Canaveral doing a whole bunch of car reviews, so it's cool to see. Look at that. Perfect landing vertically. It's so weird. To carry humans to orbit, God, so very awesome. exciting for us. My Mustang, my Mustang can do that. My Cobra can do that. <laughs> I know it doesn't really matter that much on a car channel, but I want to definitely congratulate SpaceX and, and Tesla and everybody who's real in NASA, obviously, uh, for doing something so amazing. And I got to see the Saturn V rocket when I was in Houston for TX2K, and unfortunately, you know, right after that, the whole world kind of changed Stop. but in March, but amazing. It's amazing what we're able to do. And then we come back down to earth and we just try to Working do, on cars. we do our little things, right? <laughs> difference between 1500 grit and 2000 grit. So this is 1500? Yeah, this is 1500, this is 2000. Sanding it to where it was, the 1500, that's really like the longest process is getting getting it smooth before you start bringing, you know, coming up through the grits and, and start polishing. The hardest part is just getting it flat right off the bat. So this is the, the easy part. It's just work in small sections, two foot by two foot-ish, um, and then just, do one side, do the other side, and then we'll work on other parts. But I don't move ahead, I work on one spot until it's completely done. So. So that was 3,000 grits. 3,000. So now I'll just remove all of this and then go to 5,000 and then we'll uh, start polishing it up. You'll really be able to tell right here, especially on this corner and through the trunk, how much more of a mirror it is. And what's really neat is the sparkles are coming out more too. Because of the way the light travels into, uh, you know, orange peel, if you imagine it's like a mountain range. And as that light comes into that, that range, the light kind of scatters around, which dulls the gloss out. So if you remove that and the light kind of penetrates in, hits the color, hits the sparkle, and then immediately comes back out, your reflectivity and your gloss level comes out with it.
Alright Chris, how do you feel about your first area done? Yeah, it feels good. I mean, it, it's pretty dang smooth. Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. But Chris, I want my paint job done in a night. Why Why is it taking so long? Hey, I, I don't understand. Like, I've only got two arms. <laughs> and two legs. And two legs. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan, you got new legs. Chris, what were you saying? I said, this would be good to show because a lot of people don't know how to remove these and they try to remove them and they break them. And there's a way to get these out without snapping them. First, uh, obviously we don't have any of the trim or the rubber in here as of yet, um, but there's a, a series of screws that are up here. You pull the rubber out, you pull your screws out. There's an eight millimeter screw that goes into here. And then to get this off, this part has to come off before this. This is how they come off. Once you get all the screws off, you lift up and pull down. That's it. Then come back to the front, grab a handle in here, slide it towards the rear, and it comes right off without breaking it. Then this section has a series of bolts. I think there's one, two, three, four. I think there's five. No, there's only four. Um, and then, nope, there is five. This comes off. You can see our lovely paint job underneath of it. Mentally prepares, and then, nope, nothing. I was so ready, and I pulled the trigger, and there was nothing. I was like, oh yeah, the fan. I was just saying to Chris that it went from literally like a satin matte paint job yeah. to a gleaming, beautiful car. And that's just the first step. We still got two more steps of polishing left to go. So Chris was saying, if you really notice, the door hasn't been wet sand and buffed yet, but this has, and there's still two, two, excuse me, there's still a few stages left, but you can already tell that the orange peel on this is significant compared to this. You'll also notice the clarity of my car and the reflection here is like a straight up mirror. And then you get to the door and it starts warping real bad. And it's almost like out of focus in comparison because of how much more orange peel there is. Pretty neat stuff. All right, Chris, it's incredibly hot and humid out today. It's been rough. It doesn't look like it because you can't translate that through camera. Yeah. <laughs> but I think we accomplished a lot. I know it doesn't seem like it to the people who are watching, but yeah. we kind of showed the basic steps of what goes through wet, sand, wet, blah, 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 through wet sand and <laughs> buffing, or paint correction, however you want to say it. Yeah. Uh, but point of the matter is, the amount of labor that goes into a full-time paint job, this is the stuff that people do not think about is yeah. the aftermath, the taping, the tearing down of interior, engine, you know, pulling the engine. All yeah. this stuff is to do an all over. And what Chris is doing is that final step, right? The glamour step. The glamour step, <laughs> but the glamour step is tedious and yeah. it's therapeutic in a way but yeah. not when it's 95 degrees outside and 50% humidity, yeah, so. It gets hot, but. But what would you say is the final thing uh, on this car? Well, once we get done with, uh, you know, wet sand and the rest of the car, obviously we only did these these couple panels right now, but once it's uh, completely wet sand and buff, we will uh, put it all back together and then we will do the final ceramic coat over the whole thing and then this will be ready for uh, delivery back to the customer. All right, on that note, make sure to check out SSR Collision. It is down in the description below. Make sure to check them out. They do amazing work as you just saw. <laughs> Don't really have to prove anything. Yeah. And along with that, I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. This video is brought to you by Patterson Car Care. Get double of premium original detail product for half the price. Head over to PatersonCarCare.com or go to the link in the description below.